My name is Angela Laraca and I'm live here at the MVF Monthly Breakfast with this rock star keynote speaker, Steve Trampy. How are you today, Steve? I'm great. It was a lot of fun. Good. You can tell. You just had this contagious energy up there that really inspired the crowd more than you know. Let's talk a little bit about your business, Sequoia Sciences. Sequoia Sciences is a biotech drug discovery company mm -hmm. founded in San Diego about 12, 14 years ago. Uh, we moved it here uh, because we have a wonderful relationship with Washington University uh, and the Missouri Botanical Garden. Well, those are some excellent relationships to have, I would say. And Steve, you said so many great things earlier. One that really stood out to me about entrepreneurs is that they solve problems rather than place blame. Can you elaborate on that just a little bit? Well, there's two sides to it. Uh, a lot of companies break apart uh, and, and spend way too much time uh, with inner office politics. And, and obviously that happens a lot more in bigger companies. You, can't, you don't have the time and money to do that in a small company. You have to move on, you have to solve problems. And it's not about bickering or personalities. So we've always get fine, it's happened, it's done. How do we solve it? And we failed as a team. We never, it was never one person's mistake. Well said. And you also mentioned something about embracing your failures as much as embracing your successes. Can you speak a little bit more to that? Well, the failures first make the best stories. Mm -hmm. And the more years that go by, the funnier they get and the less painful they are if you experience them at the time. Mm -hmm. doesn't matter if it's divorce mm -hmm. or uh, the failure of a company. They can both be, you know, the same rules apply. But you, you've got to look, and uh, being successful, it's always about past, present, and future. You have to learn from your mistakes, and you have to have a vision, and you have to deal with the reality of the present. So it's, uh, you know, your mistakes are a good part of your foundation, I think, to be successful. Wow, you nailed it on the head right there. I mean, you have just shared some really incredibly valid information. Uh, what else would you like to promote as far as Sequoia Sciences or anything else that you've got going on, Steve? I, I just think it, I'm excited about the community. Uh, we have, in the last five years, we have now have over 50 a startup initiatives in town. Most of them are nonprofit, some are for profit. And I don't think any other city has just the amount of activity that we have in so many ways that you can find you can find almost anything you need if you're if you're a startup entrepreneur, you can find the resource here. It's really incredible. All in, all in the last five to seven years. Gosh, I could not agree more. You really did touch on that when you said St. Louis is just, you said the right size and the right fit. And I, I love the accessibility that's here. Um, if someone was sort of teetering on the idea of coming to St. Louis to launch a startup, what would you advise them? Well, I would say to them what they can get here is if they say, these are the kinds of customers we want in this industry. And I, I would tell you that our startup community can get them within a week or two in front of a key potential customer. And that is very rare and happens in very few other cities. That's a huge opportunity we have here in St. Louis. Couldn't agree more. Again, thank you so much for your time today. You have certainly motivated a lot of people in this room pretty darn early in the morning. So that speaks a lot to you. Steve, thank you so much for your time. Thank you. It's always fun uh, getting out the message. So. Yes. Well, that you did. So good luck with everything. We are here to support you. Okay. Thank you very much. To learn more about MVF, visit mvfstl.org. MVF, connect, discover, grow.